In this video, we're going to be installing CyanogenMod 10.1 on the Evo 4 Jilt E. Yeah, you heard that right. CyanogenMod 10.1 Android 4 2 1. Right now, we're using one of my favorite ROMs, Mean Bean, but it's based on Android 4.1. And if you're like me, you want to have the latest and greatest version of Android. So let's flash it, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and have a link to this in my video. So you can just press on it. You go to this little web page right here, and then you zoom in, and then you'll always want to go with the top one, and then it'll say uh, CM 10.1 right here, and you'll click on it, and then it'll bring up the dev host page, and then you zoom in, and you click download. And once you click download, it starts downloading, and there you go, it'll download. You're not done just yet. We need to open up the web browser. You can use whatever you want. I'll just use the default one that comes with the device. And then all you're going to do is type in G-A-P-P-S. And then press search. And then you'll find the one that says Gouda IMG apps. And then, I don't know why you have to do this, but once you do that, you also go up here and you click on the little G apps thing and then it'll bring you to the little section. Now we're running, we're going to be running Sign 10.1. So we need this top one right here. 2012, 2012, 2012. Just press on it. Oh, so if you have Goo Manager. Oh, cool. Goo Manager will actually pop up and you can just press download and it'll start downloading. Awesome. Did not know that or you could use the web browser it's up to you you however cannot use Google manager to download the rom because browse compatible roms cm jewel nightly only the 10 um, are showing up not the 10.1 so you'll have to go to that link that'll have an description to download the actual rom please 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 keep in mind some of you are gonna comment and some of you are gonna have trouble installing this rom please make sure that you are s off if you are not s off here's what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to open up the play store oh, i had that two-step authorization thing you're gonna have to open up the play store and search for an app called flash image gui you're going to need that app um i can go ahead and open up the browser real quick and type in flash image gui click on the xda thread Zoom in, and then there it is. All right, it's downloading the Flash Image GUI. You can buy it from the Play Store, or you can get it for free from the link that I'll put in the description. Now open it up. It's going to want root permission because you have to be rooted. Grant. Okay. We are NAND unlocked, which means S on or S off. S on if you've ran the HTC dev unlock and you have an unlocked bootloader. So we're going to go here to kernel and then browse. And we're going to go to our downloads. And then there's the CM10 unofficial jewel. Press that. And then it's going to go to the limitations of HTC on the Evo 3D, blah, blah, blah. Press yes. And then it's going to do this for a little while until it finally finds the kernel that is inside this ROM. Come on. Okay, so it says it loaded it, extracted in, in directory. At this point, you can press flash image and it's going to flash that kernel. Now when you're S on, I'm sure tons of you have seen my other video and commented about not being able to install it because the kernel will does, you cannot flash the kernel while you're in recovery. You can't. People like um, XHOSX make a script that does that with like Mean Bean and other ROMs, but Sanjamod does not put that in their ROM. So you've got to actually do it this way. After deleting Delvet cache and sometimes a cache partition, Android will become extremely unstable until you reboot the device. I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to download because without the G apps, we don't have the Play Store. We don't have anything like that. So wait for this to download. At this point, I'm also taking this 
SMW6180 Super Wipe and putting that in the same downloads folder that all the other three things or two things are going to be at. The Super Wipe is essentially going to do a full reset of the phone except your internal or external storage. It will not touch that. So... Um, I can link to it in the description. I'll link to the thread and I'll have a mirror of it as well. So shout out to the developer that made the super wipe zip. As you see, I still have my old feed the panda because they took away lazy panda and you have to use dirty raccoon. If you have H root 1.12, you can still use feed panda, the lazy panda thing. But, uh, so this is wrapping up the download. Checking the MD5 sum. That's another benefit to using the goo.im app. It's called goo manager from the Google play store is it also verifies the MD5. That way you know you're not getting a bad flash. So we're gonna go ahead and power the device down manually. If you're using a custom ROM, you can just choose Reboot to Recovery. The Flash Image GUI app also had a little prompt saying, um, do a normal reboot or reboot to recovery. So you can just press recovery if you really wanted to. But I'm gonna go ahead and hold the power button and the volume down and then let go of power. Just keep holding volume down. Oh wait, what in the world? There we go. It just had a little hiccup there, I guess. So we're gonna press volume down, press power when we get to recovery. Oh, yeah, while you're in Goo Manager, press menu, install OpenScript Recovery, press yes, and then press yes again. Sometimes your device will reboot, sometimes it won't. So make sure you do that last. That will make sure that you're on the latest 2330 Torp Recovery. So instead of wiping, which if you don't use the super wipe, you need to do the factory reset and then swipe to do it. But if you use the, uh, Super wipe zip that I'm going to link to in the description. You can just press install and then you can go to internal storage wherever you put it. I don't have an SD card in here. I need to get one. And then we're going to go to the downloads folder. And then there's the super wipe. Why isn't the. Oh, because they put the freaking G apps inside the Goo Manager folder. So first we want to flash the super wipe since it's going to do the factory reset. We're going to choose add more zips and then we're going to flash the ROM. And then we need the G apps to flash. That's on the. Uh, Google or Goo Manager folder right here. There's the 4.2.1 G apps. So we have three zips that's gonna flash. You need to make absolute sure that the super wipe zips first. If you're gonna flash that, if not, do a normal factory reset. That it's the ROM, and then last but not least, the G apps. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. And if you chose the super wipe. It's going to basically do a factory reset and format everything optimally. I do recommend doing that over a standard factory reset because this is going to wipe the system, data, cache. It's going to even wipe it and it's going to format it optimally or whatever. So definitely use the super wipe. I've had it get stuck on the checking system partition. And before I would just take the phone and I would manually power down, go back into recovery and do it again. But Honestly, from experience, if you just let it sit there for a while, it will eventually work. I don't know why it hangs there sometimes, but I have no clue. Just let it do its thing and be patient. Please keep in mind that with Twerp Recovery, you can hook your phone up and charge it while you're doing all of this. So if you have a low battery, please make sure you have it charging, especially if you went to the backup option, which I should have mentioned that. Before you start doing anything, actually use Titanium Backup, press the little batch button at the top right, little checkbox, do backup all user apps and system data. Just make sure that when you're restoring it, you only restore stuff that you absolutely cannot redo, like a game where you got really far, or something like Tap -a Talk with 19 different accounts. Just stuff that would take you forever to get back to the way you were. Go ahead and restore that. But don't restore everything. Like ad free and Chrome to phone and all that stuff. I mean, don't restore that stuff. Just go to the Google Play Store, download it, and then set it up couple clicks no big deal and then when you're rebooting the recovery before you start doing all this you want to make sure that you go to the backup option now i don't have an sd card and the space on here is limited and also i want to save time so i didn't do a backup but really this isn't my daily driver so i don't really care as most of you know my note 2 is my daily driver so i don't care i could care less what happens to that as far as like resetting it and starting over from scratch and etc Oh wow, oh my god, I did not have to force it down and power it off. It freaking eventually did it. Now it's flashing the actual ROM, which is on my 10.1 Android 4.2.1. <laughs> oh man, I have signed my 10.1 on my freaking 
Transformer Prime. I have it on my Galaxy Nexus, the Toro Plus. I ha- I'm now going to have it on my Evo Forge LTE, the Jewel. And I'm going to put it on my wife's Galaxy S3 tomorrow. I'm going to make a video on it, hopefully. I got two, a lot of things to do, so hopefully I can get to that. The G apps flashed, the ROM flashed, everything flashed. Now we're going to reboot the system. So remember, before you actually go in there and install the ROM and do the super wipe to back up your ROM. I'll put a little note up before I get to the recovery and start doing all this to back up your ROM if you plan on going back to it. Because this is like an alpha, beta kind of thing. It's not official. And there might be things that don't work. And if you didn't back up your ROM and there's something that doesn't work that you cannot live without, then you're kind of screwed. You're going to have to go back and manually install your apps. Uh, You didn't back up your data. (laughs) So (laughs) make sure you back up your stuff with Titanium Backup. And if you had the Pro version, please sync it to Dropbox, Box.net, or Google Drive. That way, if something happens to your external storage, your SD card, you can just go on there and download it from Dropbox, Box.net, or Google Drive. And then also back up your ROM and... Heck, if you want to be super safe, you can take that twerp folder that it puts on your SD card and you can put that on your computer. That way you don't lose it. And if you don't have the pro version, while you're dragging your twerp folder on your computer, drag your titanium backup folder on your computer as well. (laughs) So then you'll know that you won't ever lose it. Wow, that flashed pretty darn quickly. So let's connect to my Wi-Fi. I'm not going to set it up just yet because I have Google two-step thing and it's going to want me to go to my computer and put in some little code. It's annoying, but I got too much stuff linked to my freaking Google account to not do the two-step thing. So to get rid of this, just uncheck it, check it again, press OK. Now this is not my daily driver. And I'm going to play around this ROM, of course, but please keep in mind that this is like a mini review showing you what you get. So when you bring this down at your notifications, pressing this will bring up all the little other things where you can like press on the Wi-Fi. You can press on the brightness and change the brightness, like a quick setting to it. And then you can drag this down and you can go to settings and I'll show you that we're on Android 421. If you install Titanium Backup and it's annoying the crap out of you because you don't have a developer options down there, just go to About Phone, go to your build number, and tap on it. You are one step away from being a developer. You are now a developer. So we go back and check that out, Developer Options. Then you can go in here, you can check Android Debugging, and now Titanium Backup won't nag you saying, oh, you need to enable it. Um, Also, while you're in here, go to Security. And then go to unknown sources and check that. And now Titanium Backup won't bug you at all when you go to install it. So you get Android 4.2, obviously. No bloatware at all. You get the Android 4.2 camera. Yes. So the camera does work. Pressing on it, you don't get the photosphere. Uh, An Android 4.2 thing is like profiles and this little quick thing and then we can go down here to about phone and then we can go to Sajima version and it's got this little guy right here and if you hold down on him it does some crazy things kind of like when you go over here and you go to uh, Android version it does the little 4.2.1 jelly bean and you can hold on him and flick those around. But I think I like this one better. <laughs> Android 421 Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. <laughs> oh, some quick things real quick in the status bar. I like to do the AM and PM and I like to do the normal. You can choose small and it makes the little AM thing smaller. For the battery icon style, oh, I got to go with the circle of percentage. God, it's just too sexy. I prefer the AOKPs, but... I'm glad Sanjay Jamad finally did it, and theirs is quite different though. AOKP has like little, I don't know, like separate bar things in there, but it's pretty cool. It's awesome. It's good stuff. Under here, you can your quick panel. You can change like your tiles and 
all this fun stuff. And then for the notification drawer, you can go down here and choose like all these different things. For the power menu, you can choose like screenshots. So when you hold down the power button, you get all these little things and you can, you know, press screenshot. For the clock widget, you got all those stuff. Uh, notification light, you got that. For hardware keys, you, you, you can have like, um, oh, that lets you change these down here. Like the home key, long pressing it can take you to your recent apps. And the um, app switch key can take you to your open menu close. And long pressing on that can take you to like uh, voice search. The three dot overflow, it's kind of like before when this wasn't the menu button and you had that stupid thing there on Facebook and speed tests and all those other apps that weren't ICS compliant. Now when you press that, it takes you to your settings. Holding this should take you to your uh, recent apps and holding this should take you to Google Now. Which is uh, actually force closing. Oh, that's because we haven't set up a Google profile. That's why it's force closing. As you'll see, I open up my Play Store once we to sign in. Have not done that yet. Otherwise, it should work just fine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. And it helps me out a lot. And it lets me know you enjoyed the video. So please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm going to play around with this ROM some more. I've got videos on this phone. i got videos on the Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3, Note 2, Transformer Prime. Uh, if the HP Touchpad ever gets a really good working version of CM10 where the Netflix and stuff works, then I'll do a video on that as well. Getting the Note 3, getting the S4, lots of awesome videos coming. I got an extended battery coming for my Note 2 here in the next couple days. So lots of stuff to check out. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe and you won't miss any of my awesome videos coming out soon. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Hey everybody. This is Give Me Away. Give Me Away is a Windows application designed to facilitate YouTube giveaways. If you're having a YouTube giveaway contest, Give Me Away will download all the comments that have been posted on your video. You can then apply filters on the comments however you like, and then let Give Me Away pick the winners randomly. In this video, I'm going to show you the main features of Give Me Away. Let's show you how to get started.